returning to 97. I want to be a good person introduction. www.jiaoshuyuan.com Billionaires reborn as bad gamblers, creditors forcing debt, brothers betraying, and relatives suffering from tragedy. In 1997, the financial tsunami and the return of Hong Kong Island created a chaotic world. For him, who has been a person of two generations, only in times of chaos can heroes emerge. And he vowed to become the creator who steps on the top of 10,000 skeletons. Financial Storm, write, https, forward slash forward slash www.zayashuan.com. Chapter 1. Reviewing 97. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, at the moment of waking up, Zhao Yan felt as if his head was about to explode, with excruciating pain. He opened his eyes and looked around at the unfamiliar environment. The dilapidated house, rudimentary display, and even the walls are plagued by cracks and mold due to year. Round rain. Where is this? Zhao Yan covered his head and sat up. He wanted to go out unsteadily, but when he passed by a small mirror on the wall, he froze. Is this really me? Looking at the unfamiliar face in the mirror, Zhao Yan couldn't believe it. This man with disheveled hair is actually himself. His gaze fell back on the calendar hanging next to him, murmuring, 1997. Holy crap with a scolding sound, a strange memory flooded into my mind. At this moment, Zhao Yan roughly understood the whole story. Unexpectedly, he, who controls two listed companies and is worth billions, fell into the sea from a yacht while drunk. What's even more absurd is that he was reincarnated back in 1997, attached to this poor scumbag with the same name and surname. The so dot called scumbag is because Zhao Yan roughly understood that this guy has a gambling habit and follows his friends to eat, drink, and gamble on a daily basis, committing all kinds of evil deeds. Losing money, even drinking excessively, and going home to beat his wife and daughter. For the sake of money, he even sold all the things that could be sold in his family. A few days ago, I even mortgaged my house for gambling purposes. In the morning, he lost money and came back drunk, intending to vent his anger on his wife. Unexpectedly, a wrong foot stepped on the empty bottle left by oneself, and his head hit the threshold heavily, resulting in a situation where his soul died but his body was taken away. TSK, the world is vast, and there are all kinds of wonders. I didn't expect to encounter this kind of thing again. Zhao Yan sneered at himself. He hesitated whether he wanted to find a way to go back to his original era. But I'm also worried about myself in that era. I've drowned long ago, and when I go back, I can't even find a body. What should I do? At this moment, a hurried sound of footsteps echoed behind him, bringing his thoughts back. He turned around and found two women, one big and one small, standing at the door. In unfamiliar memories, this should be the wife and daughter of the owner of his body. Now, his wife Su Mei is staring at him in terror, holding her daughter Zhao Xiaoran tightly in her hand. You, how did you wake up? Su Mei spoke in terror. At this moment, Su Mei's mood was very complicated. Not long ago, she thought Zhao Yan had fallen to death and planned to leave with her daughter to avoid causing trouble. But only after she left did she realize that she had nowhere else to go except here. That's why I thought about coming back to see if we need to solve Zhao Yan's body or call the police for handling. Zhao Yan stared at the other person in confusion and said, You. Are you my wife? Su Mei was taken aback and at a loss. Zhao Xiaoran, on the other hand, immediately ran over. She hugged Zhao Yan's thigh tightly and said nervously, Dad, don't hit mommy. It's. I threw bottles around and made you fall. It's all my fault. Zhao Yan lowered his head and looked at the five-year-old child. A milky voice carries a hint of nervousness, but also a hint of firmness. He raised his hand, thinking of reaching out to rub her little head. But Zhao Xiaoran closed her eyes and trembled all over. Su Mei, 
who was not far away, woke up and immediately rushed forward, hugging Zhao Xiaoran and looking up at Zhao Yan. Don't blame her, just hit me if you want to. Zhao Yan glanced at the other person and quickly turned his head away, afraid to look directly. There's no way, Su Mei is now wearing a camisole dress. When she bends down to hold her daughter, a beautiful view is revealed on her chest. When did I say I wanted to hit her? You. Get up first, let's talk when you have something to say. After Zhao Yan's words fell through, Su Mei took her daughter's hand and distanced herself from Zhao Yan. Zhao Yan pulled open a rocking chair and sat down, staring at the two women in front of him. Gulu. Just as the silence was terrifying, a strange sound sounded. Zhao Yan couldn't help but laugh and said, Are you hungry? I'll make you something to eat. Speaking, Zhao Yan stood up and walked towards the kitchen in his memory. In fact, Zhao Yan felt quite sorry for the mother and daughter in his heart. The original owner of this body is indeed too hateful to them. Now Zhao Yan has not made up his mind whether or not to find a way to return to his original world. So he decided to take this opportunity and treat the mother and daughter well, as a way to give them some warmth, and also give himself a try to maintain the responsibility of a family. What kind of feeling is it? Mommy, Daddy. Is this really my dad? Zhao Xiaoran raised her head and looked at Su Mei. I, I don't know either. Su Mei saw Zhao Yan busy looking for ingredients. She couldn't believe that everything she saw was true. Let me do it. Su Mei walked over cautiously. Soon, under Su Mei's busy schedule, three bowls of clean water noodles and a small plate of sour beans were placed on the dilapidated square table. Three bowls of noodles, except for the one placed in front of Zhao Yan, which contained a poached egg with oil flowers hanging on top, making it particularly eye-dot-catching. Zhao Yan felt an indescribable discomfort upon seeing this. In the past, in this family, anything delicious had to be left to Zhao Yan. Otherwise, Zhao Yan would definitely give Su Mei a painful scolding, and even punch and kick her. Eat it. Sit down opposite Zhao Yan. She didn't lift her head, as if afraid of looking at Zhao Yan's gaze. Dad, you. You eat noodles. There's nothing delicious at home, don't be angry with your mother, okay? Zhao Xiaoran nervously looked at Zhao Yan. To be honest, this bowl of noodles is definitely the most ordinary and worst that Zhao Yan has ever seen in his life. But he felt that he couldn't lift the chopsticks in front of him. Finally, Zhao Yan took a deep breath, picked up his chopsticks, cut off the egg in the bowl, and split it in half at Xuyuan www.zhaozhuyuan.com. Put half of it into Zhao Xiaoran's bowl. And the other half was placed in Su Mei's bowl while she lowered her head to eat noodles. Su Mei's movement stopped. She stared at half of the egg in the bowl, her nose suddenly sour, and tears kept swirling in her eyes. However, it was not the first time that Su Mei was moved by Zhao Yan. But every time she had this kind of emotion in the past, it was always a cruel blow. At home. There's really no money left at home, and I haven't paid back the money my former colleague borrowed. I, I really can't think of any way. Sue may bit her lower lip, her tone full of pleading. She is afraid. I was afraid that if I rejected Zhao Yan, would receive his punches and kicks. As I spoke, tears finally couldn't hold back and fell into the bowl, ticking and ticking. Mommy doesn't cry, Mommy. Zhao Xiaoran quickly got off the chair and hugged Su Mei tightly with her two little arms. Me, I didn't care about you asking for money. Can you stop crying? For a moment, Zhao Yan was somewhat flustered. I wanted to hand over a tissue, but found that the room was pitifully clean. Don't worry, I will definitely find a way to solve the money problem. You. Stop crying, okay. Zhao Yan's voice was slightly gentle. Su Mei even thought she had hallucinated. She never imagined that such words could be spoken from Zhao Yan's mouth. 
After hesitating for a while, she lifted her head and stared nervously at Zhao Yan. Until I could see Zhao Yan's face showing a hint of sincerity, but also anxious and nervous expression. She instinctively thought of is this person really Zhao Yan? Chapter 2 He Changed You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, a simple bowl of noodles, Zhao Yan ate so much that he didn't even bring a drop of noodle soup. He leaned back in the chair and watched Zhao Xiaoran clumsily use chopsticks. The half of the egg, which she had sandwiched into many granules, looked very satisfied when eating. I'm done eating. Zhao Yan smiled and picked up the dishes before standing up. Su Mei across from her was busy putting down her chopsticks. Knowing what she wanted, Zhao Yan quickly spoke up and said, You eat, I'll tidy up the kitchen. When you finish eating, bring in the dishes and wash them for me. Su Mei was slightly taken aback, but found that Zhao Yan had already turned around and entered the kitchen to get busy. The mother and daughter looked at each other, and Zhao Xiaoran whispered, Mommy, Daddy, has he improved? Su Mei doesn't know how to answer. Or rather, she dare not answer. Because she couldn't imagine if all of this was true. She glanced at the living room from the corner of her eye. Nowadays, she is like a hedgehog, and she must be vigilant against everything Zhao Yan does to her. Xiao Ran, how about going to work with mom later? Su Mei rubbed Zhao Xiaoran's little head. Zhao Xiaoran pouted and looked aggrieved. She doesn't like going to the place where Su Mei works. Because there are always people bullying her there. Not only the adults working there, but even some children of factory leaders always like to laugh at her and say things that she doesn't fully understand but is full of hostility when they see her. Mommy, why don't I go? They always say, you're not a good person, speak ill of you, I, I don't want to go. After Zhao Xiaoran finished speaking, her expression on the face became even more aggrieved. Su Mei's heart thumped. In fact, she was fortunate enough to find this job. She, who graduated from high school, is not commonly seen these days. Most people just feel that she is about the same age as herself, but she can comfortably work as a document clerk, sitting in the office calculating lists, without having to work tirelessly like other employees. It was because she had an affair with some leaders in the factory that she was able to arrange it. It is also due to this reason that many people in the factory wear colored glasses when looking at her. Many children also use such topics to humiliate Zhao Xiaoran, with their eyes and ears playing up. Su Mei is well aware of the terrifying nature of rumors. She didn't know how to explain, so she could only smile wryly and say, Xiao Ran, be good with your mom in the office. Don't run around, they won't have a chance to speak ill of you. Zhao Xiaoran didn't refuse anymore, just lowered her head and lightly nodded. In the kitchen, Zhao Yan started to ponder while cleaning. What should I do to make the life of this mother and daughter better? You should know that he is currently penniless and has no connections. If he wants to start from scratch, he may, by the way, networking. Zhao Yan seemed to think of something and suddenly woke up. A banker once said. The smartest person is to earn their own money with the money of others. Although in his unfamiliar memories, Zhao Yan could only think of a few so-called social connections, including a few friends and acquaintances. These few people are what others call scumbags, never doing anything serious, but a basket of bad things. But who is Zhao Yan? He was a big shot who once had a fortune of billions. Even if it is waste, there will always be a place for utilization. Zhao Yan, I. I took Xiaoran to work, you. I'll go out later too. Zhao Yan turned around and looked at the two people standing at the kitchen door. Mmm. Su Mei hesitated at the words, but in the end, she didn't say anything more. Holding her daughter's small hand, she turned around and left. In fact, when Su Mei heard that Zhao Yan was going out, her biggest concern was that she would look for those pig friends and dog friends again. She wanted Zhao Yan to stay away from these people, 
but words come to my lips, but I dare not speak. Not long after Su Mei and her daughter left, Zhao Yan also went out. His figure just appeared in a billiards room. A few people inside immediately ran over. Oh, third brother, how dare you still bubble? I'm not talking about you, third brother. You made a big fuss this time, losing over 2,000. This account. It's a bit tricky. Xiao Lu, fuck your mother, who is third brother. 2,000 yuan is considered a fart. Dot. These few people gathered around, which made Zhao Yan remember that he seemed to still owe a lot of money at the casino. A few thousand yuan is a considerable amount in this era. Take Su Mei as an example, her monthly salary is only over 400 yuan. To repay this debt, it will take about half a year to avoid eating or drinking. Oh, don't worry, brothers. It's just money, I naturally have a way. Before coming, Zhao Yan had already made up his mind. He really needs the help of these people in front of him if he wants to make money. So awesome. Xiao Lu asked, third brother, have you found any way to get rich? If there's really a way, don't hide it from the brothers. We're all brothers. If you can eat meat, you must give the brothers some soup, right? Zhao Yan nodded and said, there really is. As he spoke, Zhao Yan looked at the person next to him and said, Shirley, didn't your family contract a few fish ponds? Are you interested in collaborating? Shirley had some money in his pocket when looking for Xu Yuan www.zhaozhuyuan.com among them. More importantly, the village head in their village is also surnamed Shi, the uncle of Shirley. Shirley stared at Zhao Yan and nervously took two steps back. Third brother, don't be joking. Those fish ponds are the fate of my old man. If you want to plan on those fish ponds, why don't you kill me as soon as possible? The people next to Xiao Lu laughed one after another. Stone, just listen to third brother's words. I promise he won't lie to you, really, he won't, ha ha ha. I thought it was a big plan to get rich, that's it. Ha ha ha. Third brother, don't scare the stones anymore. Let's play billiards and have a drink at the old place after finishing. Dot. Zhao Yan was too lazy to pay attention to these people. He walked up to Shirley and placed his hand on his shoulder. The two of them came out of the pool room. Shirley nervously said, Third brother, I know you owe a lot of money. I, I have over thirty on me. Why don't you take it and use the rest first? Zhao Yan glanced at Shirley, took the change in his hand, and put it into his pocket. Stone, are you almost thirty? Are you still planning to muddle along like this? You've told me before that your dad never looks at you seriously, and every time we eat together, he fights and says you're not good enough. Are you really willing to do this? Zhao Yan was earnestly persuading. Shirley lowered his head, unsure of what he was thinking. After a while, Shirley lifted his head and stared at Zhao Yan, third brother, you really didn't deceive me. Zhao Yan shook his head and said, how could it be? You swear. Shirley said seriously. Zhao Yan. Dot. Chapter 3. Negotiating Business. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, the fish pond of Shirley's family is located at the foot of the mountain. The fish pond is adjacent to the stream, with clear water flow and beautiful fish fat and meat. Third brother, what are you planning to do? Are we going to go offline? Shirley asked softly. He looked left and right, as if worried about something. Zhao Yan smiled and said, no need for now. Just tell me what fish are in here, how big are these fish, and how much does it cost per kilogram for wholesale? I. Shirley awkwardly shook his head. Most of the fish in the pond are grass carp, with a wholesale price of 30 cents per kilogram. A person walked over. His appearance startled Shirley and he hid in the nearby grass. Dad. 
Shirley was nervous and had a big tongue when speaking. Humph, why are you running here when you have nothing to do? Shi Depeng's face darkened and he glared angrily. Uncle. Zhao Yan chuckled lightly. Shi Depeng turned around and looked up and down at Zhao Yan. Oh, are you that bastard surnamed Zhao? I warn you, don't try to collude with my son to come up with ideas for my fish pond. If anything happens in my fish pond, I will definitely report it to the police and catch both of you. Zhao Yan knew he had a notorious reputation, and used to always let Shi Lei steal fish from his family to sell. He would then go to a wasteland for money. No wonder Shi Depeng was so angry when he saw him. Uncle, you misunderstood. I'm not here to do anything bad, I am. Enough, people like you lie like crazy. I won't listen to you. Get out of here now. Otherwise, don't blame me for letting the dog bite people. Shi Depeng interrupted angrily and pointed to several large dogs tied under the shade of a tree not far away. Uncle, I really want to talk to you about a business deal. I'm not trying to deceive you, I. Are you leaving or not? Shi Depeng gave Zhao Yan a glare. Dad, why don't you listen to people finish speaking? Perhaps he really has something he wants to talk to you about. Shi Lei gritted his teeth and stood up. Shi Lei knew Zhao Yan for seven or eight years, and for some reason, he always felt that Zhao Yan was very serious this time, not like he was joking. Shi Depeng patiently asked, Okay, you tell me what business you want to talk to me about, you tell me. Zhao Yan was overjoyed and quickly said, Uncle, I know you wholesale these fish and usually rely on buyers to come and collect them. They give you three cents a caddy. In fact, you don't earn much. When the weather is bad and the weather is rainstorm, you will worry about losing money. But what if I can give you 50 cents per kilogram? When the weather is sunny, you can double your earnings. Even in a rainstorm, you are not worried about losing money. Shi Depeng stared at Zhao Yan in confusion and said, 50 cents per kilogram. Who are you lying to? At this price, we're almost catching up with the market. If you want more shipping, what do you make? Facing Shi Depeng's questioning, Zhao Yan smiled and said, Uncle, this is what I need to manage. Just say, if I have an order to come, you can take it, or not take it. Shi Depeng still has some doubts and concerns. He nodded tentatively and said, Yes, I can accept it, but I must pay and deliver on my own, otherwise everything will be fine. Zhao Yan snapped his fingers and said, Okay, that's settled. Later, you can list out all the types of fish and distinguish them into three levels. Those weighing less than three pounds, those weighing three to five pounds, and those weighing more than five pounds. How many are there? After dividing it, let Shirley come and tell me tomorrow. I promise. I won't let you do a loss-making business. Zhao Yan's serious attitude made Shi Depeng have some illusions. Is it difficult? What kind of path does this guy really have? Of course, Shi Depeng had already calculated in his heart that he didn't have any losses. He could simply calculate the approximate number of grass carp at three different levels based on the period of feeding his fry. So he nodded without hesitation. Until Zhao Yan left alone. Shi Depeng just waved at Shi Lei. Dad, what are you doing? Shi Lei walked over in fear of his hands and feet. Shi Depeng kicked the opponent's small foot and demanded, what's wrong with him? Is this kid changing his temper? or are you two planning to do something that you can't see in person? I warn you, it's best for you to tell me everything in detail. Shi Lei felt pain and jumped back a few steps. Dad, free. Zhao Yan really didn't conspire with me for anything bad. Besides, is he deceiving you of money or deceiving your fish? Can't you trust him once? Upon hearing this, Shi Depeng sighed. He pointed at Shirley and shook his fingers, saying, You, you better not cause me any more trouble. This time, I'll give you one last chance for the sake of your face. If you are genuinely doing business, go ahead and don't let me. Don't let me down again. 
Shi Depeng finished speaking, shook his hand, and turned his back to leave. At this moment, Shi Lei suddenly understood what Zhao Yan had said to him before. Zhao Yan returned home and whistled while cooking. The smoke from the kitchen was sparse, drifting outside. Su Mei and her daughter saw thick smoke rising from their own chimney from a distance. After entering the door, there was a burst of the aroma of the food that rushed towards me. Are you back? Come on, wash your hands and get ready to eat. Zhao Yan was carrying the last dish and happened to come out of the kitchen when he met Su Mei and her companions who were entering. Su Mei looked at the repaired table and saw four dishes placed on it, including meat and vegetables, as well as a cushion carp soup. This kind of scene, even during the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, cannot be seen. Mommy, look for Xu Yuan www.zhaoshuyuan.com. The dishes tonight are so delicious. Zhao Xiaoran looked surprised and couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. Su Mei hurriedly ran to Zhao Yan and questioned, Where did you find the money? These. Let's eat. Didn't I say so? The issue of money, leave it to me to worry about in the future. You've been tired all day, sit down and have a good meal. Zhao Yan's gentleness left Su Mei at a loss. She watched Zhao Yan helplessly, holding her daughter's hand and jokingly walking towards the kitchen to wash her hands. Oh my goodness, am I dreaming? Su Mei's expression was complex, afraid that it was a dream and she would wake up at any moment. However, there are always things in this world that suddenly appear and break the happy mood. Outside the door, a fat woman in her forties passed by. She suddenly stopped and nuzzled her nose, looking at Zhao Yan and his family. Tisk, it's quite delicious meat. Unexpectedly, this terrible gambler's family can afford to eat meat now. The woman sarcastically mocked. The husband next to her tugged at her and said helplessly, why don't you mind what they eat at home? We should leave now, don't talk nonsense. The woman glanced at her husband and said, Humph, if you want me to see it, are you sorry for that bitch surname Sue? You. Don't talk nonsense, those who live in the streets and alleys. I'm talking nonsense, the woman said coldly, didn't that bitch borrow fifty dollars from you before? I want to see if she still has money and started eating meat. What's going on? After speaking, the woman disregarded her husband's obstruction and strode towards Zhao Yan's house. Chapter 4 The Wanderer and the Dog You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Zhao Yan was busy and originally planned to sit down and enjoy the results. But just then, a chubby woman suddenly burst in, cursing and cursing. She pushed the door open and walked straight to the square table. Oh, not bad, TSK 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 TSK, chili fried meat, shiitake mushroom slices, and cushion carp soup. The woman spoke in a strange and eerie voice. Looking at Su Mei on the side. Hey, your family's food is almost catching up with mine. I owe my family money, should I pay it back? Su Mei was at a loss. She looked at the man behind the fat woman, who turned his face away as if embarrassed to face her. Li Hua Jia, I did owe my elder brother fifty yuan, but I said I had to pay my salary to repay it. You suddenly came to me for it, I. I really can't come up with it for a while. Su Mei feels very uncomfortable. Especially my own daughter is still on the side. Sun Li Hua gave a cold smile and said, If you have money to eat meat, pay the bill as soon as possible. Why wait until the salary is paid? She glanced at Zhao Yan. Besides, the money you spent on meat today may have been won by some lucky people. But if you're not lucky enough and the salary you pay tomorrow won't be enough for him to lose, then I'll ask you for it. Aren't you even less able to take it out? Sun Li Hua reached out her hand and said, Come on, it's only fifty yuan. This meal costs three to five yuan, right? Can you still miss this? Su Mei was a bit at a loss. Zhao Yan, on the other hand, 
took all of this seriously and understood the general meaning of the whole matter. After he stood up, he protected Su Mei behind him. Su Mei looked at this figure in shock. To be honest, 50 yuan. I really don't have it at home right now. In my pocket. Here, there are still over 20 left. I'll give you all now, and I'll make up for the rest in a few days. Sun Li Hua stared and said, Why? You said a few days will take a few days, right? No, I need it now. No matter what method you use now, bring it to me immediately. Zhao Yen smiled. This woman is clearly trying to find fault. His smile froze and he said sternly, Where's the money? No. But don't forget who I am. I'm not afraid to wear shoes barefoot. You're pushing me too hard, I'm not as good as you eat. After a pause, Zhao Yen glanced at the man hiding behind Sun Lihua. You. When my wife borrowed money, she agreed to pay her salary before repaying it. You're lucky, you can't care about the mother tiger at home and come knocking to find trouble. Are you really a man? Or do you have to have your wife take care of everything that costs tens of yuan? When the other party came knocking and shouted, Zhao Yen naturally had no intention of giving face to the other party. The man immediately straightened his chest upon hearing these words. What are you talking nonsense about? No matter what I do, I'm still stronger than you, a terrible gambler, right? Zhao Yen was not angry, on the contrary, the smile on his face was even stronger. Ha ha ha. Stronger than me. Your mother tiger came here to suspect you of stealing food outside. Why, have a criminal record? You, you're talking nonsense. The man is in a hurry. He grabbed Sun Li Hua and said, Let's go, don't talk to such a scoundrel. Sun Li Hua originally wanted to retort a few words. But she thought of what Zhao Yen had said at the beginning. Indeed, she hasn't had enough of her good days yet. What if this bad gambler goes crazy and really finds someone to deal with them behind their backs? She snatched away the money from Zhao Yan's hand, spat a mouthful of foam into her hand, and clicked on it again and again. Here, you owe me 20.5 and a half yuan, and in a few days. You said that for a few days. When the time comes, we'll come and ask for it. If you can't give it, I'll. I'll go outside and shout. I'll embarrass you and throw it at grandma's house. Sun Li Hua wanted to splash, but she didn't have enough courage. After giving up his harsh words, he left the house under the pull of his own husband. After watching these two figures disappear, Zhao Yen returned to his position. Come on, have a meal. Xiao Ran, you should eat more meat, it's time for you to grow your body. Zhao Yen picked up a few slices of shiitake mushrooms and put them into his daughter's bowl. Su Mei beside her stared at Zhao Yen, her eyes filled with complex emotions. Hey, don't be fooled, sit down and eat. Zhao Yen looked up and whispered, waking Su Mei up. Ah, oh oh. Su Mei was busy sitting down, and as soon as she picked up the bowl, Zhao Yen picked up a few pieces of stir-fried meat and put them into her bowl. I remember you like this dish, eat more. Zhao Yen smiled. In an instant, Su Mei felt her nose so sore and wanted to cry. But she held back as she mechanically ate the rice from her bowl and nervously said, Where did you borrow the money from? I'll pay you back with my salary. No need. That was sponsored by the chubby guy's friendship. By the way, don't worry about today's affairs. Please write down how much foreign debt our family still owes me. Give me all these debts to repay. Su Mei was taken aback. Zhao Xiaoran next to her put down her bowl in fear. Dad, you. You don't want to sell me, do you? Zhao Yan chuckled at the words, almost spitting out the food in his mouth. He reached out and rubbed Zhao Xiaoran's head, saying, What does little head Guazi think? I can't sell you even if I sell myself. You listen, I'll take you to school in a few days. Really? 
Zhao Xiaoran widened her eyes and looked for the Shuyuan website www.zhaoshuyuan.com full of longing. You should know that a five-year-old child should have entered first grade long ago. But Zhao Xiaoran kept dragging on because there was no money at home and no one to pick him up or drop him off. She looked at the children around her carrying backpacks to school, not to mention how jealous she was. Of course. We pull the hook. Speaking, Zhao Yan extended his right little thumb. Upon seeing this, Su Mei's heartbeat inexplicably accelerated, and a happy smile overflowed on her face. Perhaps. Did he really turn around as a prodigal? If he doesn't stay with those pig friends, maybe it will get better and better, right? Su Mei thought and was about to speak. Just then, a shout came from outside the door. Third brother, I'm here. Aren't you going to make me rich? Third brother. Zhao Yan saw this and quickly responded, Hey, wait. After speaking, he casually took a few bites of rice, put down his bowl, and prepared to get up. You. Su Mei wanted to speak up and ask Zhao Yan not to go. But when the words reached her lips, she finally held back. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. You guys rest early, I'm going to make money and come back to support you too. Zhao Yan finished speaking and quickly ran out. Su Mei looked at Zhao Yan's departing figure, her eyes becoming confused again. She should be aware that the prodigal son's return is just a legend, and that dogs cannot change their behavior, which is the reality. This guy must have followed a group of chubby friends again, I don't know where he went to drink and gamble. I thought the other party could really improve. It seems that all of this they are just my own extravagant expectations. Chapter 5 Direct Selling of Fish You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, third brother, you said you brought me out to broaden my horizons and do business. But you brought me here in the middle of the night to have a drink. Shirley looked left and right, and the things in the night street were indeed dazzling. Zhao Yan slapped and shouted on the back of the other person's head. What are you thinking? Don't just focus on looking at the food, we're doing business. Third brother, here, third brother. At this moment, a shout sounded. Zhao Yan hurriedly stepped forward and said, Oh, Lao Lu, there's enough time. Lao Lu smiled and said, Can we not be in time? Third brother called me, I specified to come over. By the way, third brother. What path is there? Zhao Yan smiled and said, There must be a way, it depends on whether you can handle it. Didn't you say you were making purchases for several restaurants and canteens before the new year? How much does grass carp cost per kilogram when you purchase outside? When it's cheap, it's 70 cents. When it's more expensive, it's 85 cents. What's wrong? Lao Liuyi looked puzzled. Zhao Yan smiled and said, TSK, this price is almost as good as eating pork. So, I have a batch of fish here absolutely fresh grass carp. As long as you are willing to sell it for me, I will only charge 60 cents per kilogram. As for how much price difference you want to earn, it's up to you, but as long as you communicate with me, I will definitely not sell you. As Zhao Yan's words fell, Old Lu across from him immediately froze. His name is Zhao Fugue, he is Zhao Yan's cousin and also a grandfather. So he knew from a young age who Zhao Yan was, he stole, abducted, and did all sorts of bad things. If it weren't for watching a scene with his cousin, he wouldn't have come as promised. Now listening to him say this, it's still somewhat empty. The price of six cents is indeed very low, and it's more daring to make a profit of one cent from your own pocket, which is indeed a considerable profit. But. What he was most worried about was still Zhao Yan's fish, whether he had a clear origin, and secondly, whether this guy would drink too much and sell him. And Zhao Yan also understood, after all, in 1997, the crime of speculation had just been abolished. Although many people choose to do business overseas, after all, 
the majority of people still have a slightly futile ideology. Shirley on the side was stunned. According to their traditional thinking, the fish in the pond should naturally be sold at the market. Zhao Yen beside him actually knew to skip the middle ring directly. So. What they save is not only the price difference, but also the cost of labor. Third brother, you. Why don't you make fun of me? I still manage the procurement of two school canteens. At the end of the day, just buying fish costs hundreds of dollars. Where did you mess with so many fish? Don't let me lose all my work when the time comes. Zhao Fugue waved his hand and picked up his glass with a bitter smile. I really have it, and it's legal and compliant. Well. Come to my house tomorrow and I'll take you on a trip. In the future, you can write down the quantity you need to purchase in advance, or. I will go to the entire pager another day, and you can send it to me every day. I promise to choose the best one for you and deliver it to your doorstep, saving you time running around. Zhao Yan's words left Zhao Fugue momentarily stunned. Then he held his head high and drank the wine from his glass in one gulp. Third brother, you said that. Our brothers are still calculating our accounts. I only trust you this time. If this matter gets messed up, or... Or maybe you tricked me, and our brotherly fate ends here. You. You have figured it out. Zhao Yen smiled. He raised his glass and said, have a pleasant cooperation. After Zhao Fugue left, Zhao Yen and Shirley were still drinking from cup to cup. Shirley stared at Zhao Yen for a long time, as if looking at a stranger. Oh my, have you fallen in love with me? Zhao Yen smiled. Shirley chuckled at himself and shook his head. Third brother, I noticed. You seem to have changed. I always feel like you've changed your personality. I don't know if you noticed earlier. When you talked about cooperation with Lao Lu, you were very serious. I feel like you can grasp his ideas and fully understand him. If it weren't for what I saw with my own eyes, I couldn't believe you would have such a serious side. Zhao Yen reached out and patted the other person's shoulder. Where are you from? Following third brother won't make you hungry six times in three days. Go check out. Go home tomorrow, talk to your dad and tell him not to go to the fish pond tomorrow, otherwise he will reveal the filling. My cousin is crazy. Maybe he'll skip us and come directly to your dad, and we'll lose a lot. Speaking, Zhao Yen stood up. Third brother, wait for me. I have a lot more to ask you. Shi Lei was busy getting up to pay the bill and catching up with Zhao Yan's pace. The two of them chatted along the way until they reached a fork in the road and parted ways with Shi Lei. It was only then that Zhao Yan felt a gust of night wind blowing, causing his body to shiver and his footsteps to become light and powerless. As he pushed open the door and walked into the room, he felt a pair of eyes staring at him in the darkness. Lamp, where is the lamp? Zhao Yen groped around. Pop. With a loud sound, the tungsten filament lamp on the wall lit up. In front of her, Su Mei appeared in front of Zhao Yen wearing a white camisole dress with small green flowers printed on it. Her expression showed a slight nervousness. You, did you go drinking? I. What's wrong with you? Zhao Yen smiled and interrupted the other person, I don't eat people. You don't have to be so nervous when you go to Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. By the way, Sharan slept. Su Mei nodded and said, I just fell asleep. Okay, then you can also go rest. I had a drink today and won't go to my room. I'll lie down on the living room bench and make do for the night later. Ah. Su Mei widened her eyes. She couldn't believe what she had heard. According to the past situation, when the other party returned from drinking, they would always shout and shout, and if they didn't like it, they would punch and kick her. She had never felt such a gentle scene before. Why do you get so surprised? I just went out to chat with Lao Lu. 
I need to get up early tomorrow to get busy with some things. You two women, go rest. I'm full of alcohol, don't wake up the child later. Except for the moment when the lights were on, Zhao Yan never dared to look at Su Mei. Because he found Su Mei too beautiful. The beauty of this era is true beauty. Without heavy makeup and embellishments, it is very pure. Even Zhao Yan discovered that Su Mei looked somewhat like a pure and innocent jade woman named Zhou Huimen. But Su Mei hesitated as she listened to Zhao Yan's words, but she still turned around. Ten minutes later, as soon as Zhao Yan fell asleep, Su Mei tiptoed out and gently covered Zhao Yan with a blanket. Moonlight shone through the red framed doors and windows and landed on Zhao Yan's face. Is this a dream? Are you? Really looking back. At this moment, Su Mei finally couldn't resist. She held back her tears for a whole day, sliding down her cheeks and splashing crystal clear flowers on the ground, drop by drop. Chapter 6 First Sale You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, the next morning. It's just dawn. Zhao Yan has already arrived at the small tiled house near the fish pond. Shi Lei rubbed his sleepy eyes and yawned. Third brother. So early, the chickens haven't even woken up. Are you sure our business is really exciting? Zhao Yan glanced at Shi Lei and said, Wait. The two of them waited by the fish pond for about twenty minutes when a human powered tricycle drove from a distance. The tricycle stopped in front of him, and Zhao Fugui got off the car. He looked around and said, Oh, that's really good. So many fish ponds, are these all contracted by you, third brother? Zhao Yan waved his hand and said, Speaking of this, are you still worried that I won't be able to deceive you? Look, this is the key to the house. If it weren't for me contracting it out, could you have the key? Tisk, third brother, you're making a fortune by keeping your voice down. Okay, in order to support my third brother, I'll have five hundred pounds of fish today, all three pounds or four pounds. Zhao Fugue finished speaking and sat on the side, munching on melon seeds. Shirley is quite agile. In less than half an hour, over five hundred pounds of fish were all brought ashore and loaded onto a tricycle. After settling the bill and receiving the money, excluding the portion given to Shirley's father, they earned a net profit of fifty from their hours of hard work. Don't underestimate this fifty yuan, you know it's equivalent to a week's salary for an ordinary worker. If there were a few more people like Zhao Fugue ten thousand yuan households, just around the corner. Let's go, send the money to your father. Farewell Zhao Fugue, Zhao Yan led Shi Lei towards Shijia village near the field ridge. As they chatted all the way back, Shi Lei's father, Shi Shan, finally walked out. Uncle. Zhao Yan suddenly stopped in his tracks. Shi Lei was chatting with his head tilted to one side, and upon hearing Zhao Yan's greeting, he quickly turned his head. Dad. Shi Lei swallowed a mouthful of saliva, feeling extremely nervous. Dad, we just. I saw it all. Shushan nodded and said, We are doing business seriously. That's it. Shirley chuckled proudly, 50 yuan, in less than an hour, it's coming with a bang. Oh, is this the way you came up with? I guess Xiao Yen came up with this idea. You're just helping me out. How many pounds and liang do you weigh, I don't know yet. Shirley lowered his head and muttered, Then I can also contribute. Zhao Yan smiled, took out the money, and counted it. Uncle, don't blame the numbers for not listening well. A fish weighing 500 pounds, this is 250 yuan, your portion. Shushan just lowered his head and glanced, but didn't answer. He smiled and looked at Zhao Yan, do you have any plans next? Or is this just a one-dot time transaction? I. Zhao Yan said seriously, I want to buy a three-wheeled motorcycle and make the job bigger. I'll send it to the buyer's doorstep. Of course, this is the initial plan, and later. 
think of a way to set up a live fish warehouse in the market, and send the live fish over every night to ship from there. This not only saves time, but also increases the scale, so that the ordering merchants have confidence and can trust us. Zhao Yan spoke vividly, and it was only then that Shi Shan stared attentively. Shi Shan nodded subconsciously. Not bad, having ideas and plans is a good thing. You can keep this money, as you said, to buy a second dot hand tricycle is also my support for young people's entrepreneurship. Zhao Yan was stunned. 250 yuan, plus 50 in hand, is really enough to buy a used three-wheeled motorcycle. But, uncle, isn't this good? I can't waste your money, I. Here you are, take it. Shershan smiled and said, I'm such a jerk. I don't do anything serious on weekdays. I see you are also a smart person, and I hope you can really bring him up this time. After a pause, Shershan finally looked at Shirley on the side. Son of a bitch, you're almost thirty years old. Don't be fooled around. Work hard this time and be a proactive person. It's okay if you're a little poor, but don't go astray. Otherwise, I'll be the first to break your leg, and I won't take care of you for a lifetime. Do you understand? Shirley looked up in shock and said, Dad, I. All right, don't be a mother, go do what you want to do. Shershan just waved his hand. Thank you, Dad. Shirley said seriously and watched his father turn around, his back gradually receding. Taking advantage of the hot iron, the two of them went straight to the second dot hand market. I want to buy a second dot hand three wheeled motorcycle for 300 yuan, but I really can't buy a good one. I finally chose a car, although it cost 208, almost making them empty their pockets, but the condition of the car is still quite good. After paying for the transfer of ownership, Zhao Yan immediately went to a hardware store and spent more than 10 yuan welding the car body with stainless steel to make a large iron box that was not leaking. When it comes to convenient transportation, it ensures that all live fish can swim freely. Secondly, the loading capacity is also relatively large, not to mention 3 to 500 pounds, even if it weighs 1 ton, it is probably barely enough. Driving the car with a welded body, the two of them rushed back excitedly. Let me tell you, let's get a BB machine next and make our work bigger and stronger. Zhao Yan was driving the car, still muttering. Shirley's gaze was filled with longing. He never imagined that his old man would speak to him in such a tone and attitude. And the old man looked at himself as if. Someone had changed. This gives him an inexplicable sense of pride, even a hint of pride. Why don't you speak? No, it's okay. Third brother, I. I want to make money, I want to make money to make the old man retire. Shirley suddenly spoke these words, and Xiao Yan was also stunned. He nodded with a smile. Okay, you have ambition. Let's start today and work hard to make money. Shirley nodded earnestly. Zhaozhuyuan.com, okay, make money. The two of them found a small restaurant, had a few drinks, and then left separately. Zhao Yen drove back to his doorstep, thinking of using the remaining few dollars in his pocket to go out and celebrate with his wife and daughter. But when the car came to a steady stop, the scene before him left him in shock. On the walls of the dilapidated house, many large characters were written in red paint. It's nothing more than words like debt repayment, killing your whole family, and so on. Zhao Yan's heart tightened and he quickly ran into the room. Just as I pushed open the door, screams and shouts came from inside the room. Ah! Mommy, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Zhao Xiaran's voice came from the room. Zhao Yan quickly ran in upon hearing the sound. As soon as I entered the room, two figures, one big and one small, curled up in the corner. Su Mei lifted her head, tears streaming down her cheeks and despair in her eyes. F.A. What happened? Zhao Yan nervously stepped forward. Stop and don't come over. Su Mei pointed at Zhao Yan and angrily said, What happened? 
how could you ask me what happened? You're really, really stubborn. I ask you, did you gamble on your family's land deed? Su Mei's words woke Zhao Yan up. The night before he woke up, the original bastard Zhao Yan actually took the land deed as collateral. He just forgot about it. Now it seems that the trouble was caused by the people from the casino running around. You stay at home watching Xiao Ran, this matter. I'll handle it myself. After speaking, Zhao Yan turned around and ran out. Chapter 7 Barefoot Not Afraid of Wearing Shoes You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, old ma, why did you come out for me? Zhao Yan was very angry. Misfortune is not enough for my wife and children. Besides, I mortgaged 2,000 yuan with a land deed. It has only been two days of effort so far. Do you need to rush to come and pour red oil and write big characters? Oh, third brother. Oh my god, did you lose today? Do you dare to come up to my doorstep and make a fuss? A few people walked out of the three-story small building in front of them. The leader is Lao Ma, Ma Zhenlin. A notorious bastard. He has been domineering in the village for not a year or two. With a group of henchmen under his command, he has opened a casino in the village and has two more. These days, whether it's casinos or anything else, it's all a way to make big profits. Not only is he wealthy, but also he has connections with some people in the town, so almost everyone in the village is afraid of him. Even a few members of the village committee have to avoid him by three points. Humph. I only owe you money for two days, so you're in a hurry to come and pour red oil on your door to write big characters. What does that mean? Zhao Yan asked angrily. Ma Zhenlin shrugged his shoulders and said, Old San, I'm kind enough to remind you that you're actually saying this. This really hurts me. Don't forget, lend me two thousand for a week, and pay back three thousand. It's almost two days' work now. You don't even come and say hello to me, you haven't come to my place to play for two consecutive days. My money didn't come from a strong wind, so I have to let my brothers take a look, right? Oh, and by the way, when you signed that loan agreement, you made it clear that if you don't repay the money for a week, either give me the homestead or... Hee <laughs> hee, give me your wife. Since one of these two things belongs to me sooner or later, I'll have someone go and see if it's good or bad, right? Ma Zhenlin said, with a lewd smile on his face. The dog legs next to him burst into laughter one by one. Oh, brother Ma, don't say anything. I accidentally scared my future sister dot in dot law just now. That pitiful look is just like Lin Dai you mentioned in the book. TSK, what are you talking about? Don't worry about our sister dot in dot law. Let me tell you. That child is also good but I don't know why this terrible gambler's life is so good. He can marry such a good wife and give birth to such a good daughter. I said, third brother. It's not worth losing if you bet. Why are you making it so unpleasant? Hurry up and come in and play for a while. Don't say I didn't remind you, today's banker is in the wind. Dot. The words of the crowd made Zhao Yan's eyes even more gloomy. He stared at Ma Zhenlin and angrily said, in a week, it's only been two days, in other words. The house is still mine. If you dare to come to my house and cause trouble again, I won't be afraid to wear shoes barefoot. If I don't want to fight with you, I'll see who's even worse off then. There are many onlookers. They all come to watch the play and the excitement. Even the gamblers in the casino came to watch. They all thought that Zhao Yan would definitely be humiliated this time. However, Zhao Yan's cold words surprised them one by one, and their eyes were almost wide open. Ma Zhenlin had a gloomy face. So many people are watching, the other party dares to challenge themselves. It's obvious that you don't take him seriously. Damn it, if you dare to be arrogant again, believe it or not, I'll take care of you now. Ma Zhenlin said coldly. His words fell, 
and the henchman beside him took two steps forward. Third, don't be shameless. Three thousand yuan, can you still afford it? No, I think you should transfer the land deed to my brother Ma as soon as possible. By the way, you can't afford to raise your wife, so let's transfer it too. Why talk so much nonsense to him? If I had to tell him, he wouldn't understand without beating him up. Dot. Just as these people are preparing to take action. Zhao Yen suddenly pulled out a fruit knife from his pocket. Just as everyone was laughing incessantly, they stared at Zhao Yen. Oh, move the knife. Come on, hurry up and come to me. I see if you dare to take action. Ma Zhenlin pointed to his heart position and sneered. Zhao Yen raised the corner of his mouth and said, Kill you. I dare not. But I dare to kill myself. As the words fell, Zhao Yen grabbed the edge of the knife with his left hand and slashed it fiercely. Blood overflowed from the crevice of the clenched left fist and dripped onto the ground. If you dare to touch me, I'll strike the knife at my heart. I'm dead, don't even think of running. Especially you. Zhao Yen pointed at Ma Zhenlin with a knife and said, I died in front of so many people. The higher-ups will definitely investigate. Even if Ma Zhenlin is impressive, with all the shameless activities you have done, you will still be able to shed a layer of skin. You. Ma Zhenlin was very angry. He never expected that he would bow down to himself like a pug on weekdays. Now there is such courage. Look at this posture, it seems that you really dare to take action. It doesn't matter if he dies, but his business is not thriving. If it gets big, it will indeed cause trouble. Okay, really great. One week's time, there are still five days left. Debt repayment is fair and just. I'm not a clay-made bodhisattva either. If I don't see 3,000 yuan in five days, don't blame me for being impolite then. Roll. Ma Zhenlin finished speaking angrily and pretended to turn around and leave. Stand there and wait. You splashed paint on my house and wrote big characters on my house, don't you think that's the case? Ma Zhenlin suddenly turned around. You. Okay, I'll compensate you for the money, compensate you. Speaking, Ma Zhenlin took out a handful of banknotes from his pocket and spilled them out. Zhao Yen gave a cold smile. He didn't even pick it up and turned around to leave. This really made Ma Zhenlin so angry that one Buddha emerged and two Buddhas ascended to heaven. He had planned to make this guy pick up money like a dog, embarrass himself and dampen his morale. But this guy actually got a lucky start and didn't even leave the stage for him. He turned around and left. A little brother next to him stepped forward and wanted to pick up the money on the ground. But Ma Zhenlin kicked him hard. Pick up your mother. Have you never seen money before? Ma Zhenlin turned his head to look at another lackey. You go keep an eye on this guy, I want to see where this guy has such confidence. Remember, once you see this guy wanting to run, immediately catch him back for me. I can't accept this anger for nothing. Okay, I'll go now. Watching the dog legs leave, Ma Zhenlin still had a fierce expression in his eyes. On the other end, Zhao Yen returned home. Along the way, he spent two yuan to buy a bag of putty powder, but when he arrived at home, he didn't go in. While sweeping putty powder, cover the large red paint characters on top. While thinking about what to do next, in order to earn 3,000 yuan in just five days. ZhaoZhuyuan.com inside, Su Mei's mood became complicated when she saw this scene. She hesitated for a long time, cooked a bowl of noodles, and walked out of the room holding it. I haven't eaten anything for a day, have I? Let's eat some first. Su Mei approached. Her appearance woke Zhao Yen up. He looked at the other person in shock, smiled, and sat on the threshold holding a bowl. Su Mei sat down on the other side. If you can't repay the money, give them the house. Don't gamble anymore, our family of three, live a good life. Zhao Yen looked up in shock. 
He didn't know how gentle and considerate this woman was to be able to say such things in such a situation. He tightened his heart and gently shook his head, saying, No, I will definitely pay back the money. This is our home, and no one wants to leave. And I also promised you that from today on, I won't gamble anymore. Su Mei raised her head, unsure if it was moving or surprised. After a long moment of silence, she nodded softly and said, There's no work in the factory these days. I'll take Xiaoran to the town this afternoon. There's a video studio in the town that's hiring temporary workers for 20 yuan a day. You can cook some food at home yourself, I won't be able to come back until late. After speaking, Su Mei stood up and walked back into the room. Video Recording Hall Yeah, how could I have thought of it just now? At this age, people's lives have just stabilized, and what they lack the most is entertainment, isn't it? And as Zhao Yan listened to her words, he seemed to have thought of something. He was originally melancholy about where to earn these 3,000 yuan. Now, with goods in my heart, the sadness on my face instantly dissipates. Chapter 8 Self-Help Roast Fish You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, the next morning, Zhao Yen contacted Zhao Fugue using a public phone. Yesterday's restaurant and school cafeteria both responded well to these live fish. So today's quantity has also increased significantly, reaching 700 pounds. Of course, under 700 pounds, Zhao Yen wouldn't make much money either. However, after he and Shirley sent the fish over, they did not go home directly. Shirley learned about Zhao Yan's situation, so Zhao Yan wanted to share his money. He said he didn't want anything. Third brother, can this method work for us? The video studio outside requires one ticket per person. Is it appropriate for you to charge three yuan per person for delivering grilled fish and drinking alcohol? As Shirley's words fell, Zhao Yan couldn't help but laugh. What's not appropriate about that? What do you think? The maximum cost for a grilled fish is no more than three yuan. One fish is enough for five people to eat, and one bottle of beer costs ten cents. The video recording is also free of charge. The machine was moved from your house, and at most, it's just an electric connection. If we come in groups of three or five to eat, our profit margin will at least reach 50%. They can watch movies or drink alcohol. Anyway, isn't your warehouse for storing fish feed empty? Pack it up, it can accommodate at least a hundred people dining at the same time. And we have regulations that a ticket for three yuan per person is free to eat or drink, but it can only be limited to two hours. In short, you're right to listen to me. You don't need to do anything later, just be responsible for grilling me fish. Zhao Yan's words fell behind, and Shirley clearly couldn't understand them. He scratched his head and chuckled, Hey, third brother, I really can't understand what you're saying. But I believe you. Let's go tidy up the warehouse and bring our home's video recorder while we walk. Zhao Yan smiled and agreed. The two of them were busy all morning, and finally in the afternoon, the video studio finally opened. He asked Shirley to ride a tricycle and record the recording of the small horn, then strolled around the village. Come on, come on, self.service in the video studio, free grilled fish, free beer, three yuan per person, guaranteed to enjoy the drink. If you're not satisfied, you can scold me. Dot. Although the sound may be harsh, the effect is quite good. Shirley rode his tricycle out for a walk, and when he returned to the store entrance, various types of bicycles and motorcycles were parked. And inside it was also lively and bustling, with many people already drinking. Zhao Yen, on the other hand, is now extremely busy and obviously a bit overwhelmed. Hurry up, I'll grill the fish. You can go see what they need and collect the money as well. Shirley was stunned, and Zhao Yen shouted several times before he woke up. He immediately began to get busy, although spinning like a top, his face always wore a joyful smile. 
On the other hand, Ma Zhenlin's younger brother saw this scene and quickly rushed back to inform Ma Zhenlin of everything. Are you sure that old gambler really started his own business? Why do you even open a video studio? Little brother nodded. Yeah, free yuan per person, free to eat grilled fish, free to drink, and even watch video movies. And there are still many people getting old, that scene is not just lively. Free yuan. Ma Zhenlin gave a cold smile and said, what kind of money can you make from three yuan? I thought it was a big deal, so I just fooled around and played around. The little brothers next to each agreed one by one. Isn't that right? That guy's just three minutes hot and won't last long. He fools around all day long, with a bottle of beer costing ten cents and a person drinking at least fifty or sixty cents. Coupled with grilled fish and video movies, it's not a bad thing for him. Let me tell you, this guy is still a few days away. He'll be a dead horse and a living horse doctor. What kind of prank is he doing for a prodigal son to turn around? He wants to coax his wife, right? What's his daughter dot in dot law? That's our future sister dot in dot law. Don't worry, boss. This guy's been tinkering with us for a while. Dot. Ma Zhenlin gave a cold smile and waved his hand. Brother, let's not talk about rubbish, but walk. Please go strip the skewers. It is obvious that Ma Zhenlin did not intend to take Xiao Yan seriously. In his opinion, gamblers are like fans, and there will never be a day to turn back. Until late at night, Zhao Yan and Shirley were almost paralyzed by thunder. The two of them saw off the last table of guests and simply sat down on the doorstep, one person sitting on one side. Zhao Yan handed over a cigarette, and the two lit it before smiling at each other. Third brother, guess how much we will earn this day? Shirley smiled smugly. Zhao Yan rolled his eyes and said, Don't fart, speak quickly. Shirley took out a handful of banknotes from his pocket and said, 564. More than 500, in just over 500 hours a day, we're going to heaven. Zhao Yan was taken aback, but there was no hint of joy on his face. He just forced a smile and said, Yes, it's over 500, it's really quite a lot. Excluding costs and earning in the morning, there could be a net profit of over 300 yuan. Let's split it up, each with over a hundred, which is truly something to be proud of. Shirley stared at Zhao Yan. Third brother, since we've earned a lot of money, how can I? I can't tell you're a little happy. Our money is all real, aren't you satisfied? Zhao Yan glanced at the other person. He took a deep breath of his cigarette. How can we not be satisfied? But even if I'm satisfied, I won't have time. I used to make a fool of myself by mortgaging my house to that bastard Ma Zhenlin. The repayment deadline is approaching, and within five days, I can earn 3,000 yuan. You say. Although we are making a lot of money now, looking for Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, Ma Zhenlin has long been thinking about my house and my wife. If he doesn't make it within five days, then he. He specified that he won't give up easily. Upon hearing this, Shirley frowned and said, Third brother, I won't take my portion for now. It's over three hundred in a day, and after five days. Five days is not enough. Just then, Shishan walked over from a distance. Zhao Yan and Shirley saw this and quickly stood up. Dad, the recorder is me. I've seen it all, and I've also seen it all. Shushan just rolled his eyes. He turned to Zhao Yan and smiled, Good kid, I really underestimated you before. I didn't expect you to come up with such a solution. The solution is good, but we still need to hurry up and apply for the business license to avoid anyone bothering you in the future. After a pause, Shushan glanced at Shirley and chuckled playfully, You bastard, follow your third brother well. The fish you took from me, as well as the rent for this warehouse and this video recorder, settle every month. Do you understand? Shi Shansai's words made Zhao Yan's eyes widen. 
Shi Lei beside him was still complaining and muttering, Oh, old man, why are you so heartless? Don't talk nonsense. Zhao Yan cursed and suppressed his voice, saying, Do you think that if your father settles every month, then we can use all the money we earn ourselves? In five days, I can pay off the debt. Upon hearing these words, Shi Lei woke up in shock. He looked up and couldn't help but be stunned by his father's half-smile expression. Old man, you have a tendency to urinate. Chapter 9 Monopoly Sales You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Zhao Yen dragged his tired body back to his doorstep. The lights in the room were shining brightly, and it was obvious that Su Mei had returned, and the lights were still on. It was unclear whether she was waiting for him. As soon as she pushed the door open, Su Mei, who was sitting at the dining table, slowly lifted her head. Her face showed a hint of fatigue. Are you back? Come on, sit down and I'll cook a bowl of noodles for you. Su Mei finished speaking and pretended to get up. Zhao Yan was busy stepping forward to assist. Don't be busy, I've eaten it before. I've eaten a lot today. Did you? Still drink alcohol? Su Mei frowned. Zhao Yan had no choice but to have a good conversation with the customers who came to eat, otherwise they wouldn't come next time. Ong, there's nothing I can do, I have to drink some. Don't worry, I'll just sleep in the living room tonight. So what? You're also tired today, aren't you? Why don't you go rest early? I can do it myself. Su Mei hesitated for a moment before speaking. I heard. Did you do your own business today? Selling grilled fish and opening. A video studio. Zhao Yan smiled and said everything about today. I earned over 600 on this day. In the next five days, if I raise 3,000 yuan, I will repay the money, so that we can have a better life in the future. Su Mei stood still, the whole process as if she had lost her soul. Until Zhao Yan finished speaking, tears welled up in Su Mei's eyes and slid down her cheeks. You, why are you crying again? I'll go ahead, you. Don't scare me, you'll wake up the child later and think I'm bullying you. You. Okay, okay, I won't cry, I won't cry. Su Mei nodded busily. She stared at Zhao Yan and said, I'll go help you tomorrow. Zhao Yan looked at the other person in shock and said, Okay, then hurry up and rest. We'll go out early tomorrow morning to work. Su Mei's face showed a joyful expression, and after agreeing, she stood up. She turned to look at Zhao Yan with a hesitant expression. Watching Zhao Yan busy tidying up the bed on the bench, and then looking towards his own room. She couldn't say that and walked into the room alone. The next morning, Zhao Yan rode a tricycle and rushed to the fish pond in the morning, it was selling fish, but Zhao Yan didn't ask Su Mei to help or even call her up. When he arrived at the fish pond, Shi Lei had already picked up hundreds of pounds of live fish and filled them with several square buckets. Just this time, they waited for a long time and didn't see Zhao Fugue's appearance. Shi Lei squatted on the edge of the fish pond, holding a dog tail grass in his hand. He finally couldn't help but look up at Zhao Yan and said, Third brother, what kind of trouble does Lao Lu have? It's almost noon now. If you don't come again, this fish will die. Also, those restaurants and school canteens also need to be prepared in advance, right? He couldn't have had something wrong on the way, could he? Shi Lei's words do have some reference value. Zhao Yan hesitated for a moment, then waved his right hand and said, Pour the fish back into the pond. Let's go out and find him. Upon hearing this, Shi Lei agreed. The two of them rode tricycles to Zhao Fugue's house. He slapped Zhao Fugue's door, but there was no response inside. Lao Lu, I know you're at home. Your tricycle is still outside, you must have come back. We are brothers, what's wrong with you not being able to speak up? Open the door, if you don't open it again, 
I'll really kick you. Zhao Yan urged a few times. Just as he lifted his foot, the door suddenly opened. Zhao Fugue stood at the door, showing an awkward smile. Third brother, I. What's going on? Zhao Yan said angrily. Shi Lei couldn't help but say, Damn it, your third brother and I were feeding mosquitoes in the fish pond all morning. How could you hide at home and sleep soundly? Zhao Fugue sighed and said, Stone, third brother, don't blame me. I can't let this happen, I don't want to either. Speak clearly, otherwise you won't be able to live a peaceful life today. Zhao Yan gave Zhao Fugue a push and walked into the room. Zhao Fugue sat on a chair with his shoulders pressed down. He looked at the two people across from him, sighed, and explained the whole story. Originally, the fish stalls in the farmer's market were all monopolized and manipulated by people behind the scenes. There are specialized people wholesale to the farmer's market, and the people in the farmer's market must purchase from these people, otherwise the stall will not be open. And these people are absolutely not allowed to enter the town as other fish vendors and wholesalers. A few days ago, they noticed a sharp decline in fish sales at the farmer's market, so they started investigating. Quickly, they discovered that Zhao Fugue did not buy fish at the farmer's market, nor did he wholesale from these people. Instead, he purchased goods through other channels. So they sent someone to find Zhao Fugue and threatened him. If they see Zhao Fugue purchasing fish from them again, they will cause trouble for Zhao Fugue's family. You guys think, I. I'm just a procurement person. Where can I buy from instead of buying? Make less profit, my family is also safer. I'm not afraid of you laughing either. Yesterday, after delivering groceries, I came home and saw more than ten chicken heads hanging at my doorstep. I couldn't even pluck the hair from these chicken heads at shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. They were so bloody, they really scared me. Third brother, you. You better take a different path. They even said that if you dare to disturb their market, they will make all the fish in your fish pond float up. Those people are all ruthless, ruthless people who don't want to die. You don't need to risk your life just to make money. After Zhao Fugue finished speaking, Shirley's face beside him also appeared tense. On Zhao Yan's face, however, a strange smile was outlined. Don't worry about this matter, give me the addresses of those guys, and wait for my message at home. Stone, you also go home. No way. Shirley excitedly said, Third brother, we are brothers. How could I let you go on an adventure alone? What are you going to do? Let's go together. Anyway, there's still some care to take care of. Zhao Yan rolled his eyes and said, What's going on? I'm not going to cause trouble, nor am I going to cause trouble. Please hurry and go home for me. Either go to the store and kill the fish, and when I come back, I'll start work immediately. Shi Lei was unwilling and wanted to say something more, but in the end, Zhao Yan refused. Watching Zhao Yan get on the car alone and leave. Zhao Fugue curiously said, Stone, do you think my third brother will really be okay? Shi Lei turned around and glared at Zhao Fugue, TSK, you know you're worried now. When you betrayed third brother, what did you do earlier? If anything happens to third brother, I can't spare you either. Damn it, you're just a coward. Fortunately, you're still the third brother's cousin. I'm sorry. After cursing, Shirley walked away with great strides. Chapter 10 The Emergence of Heroes in Chaotic Times You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, in times of chaos, heroes may not necessarily emerge, but they may also be heroes. Zhao Yan knew that in this era, it was like an eagle cub learning to jump off a cliff. Daring not venture out, one can only curl up on the cliff for a lifetime. Once you flap your wings, you will surely soar high. He rode his bike to a riverside dock. There are quite a few people here, most of whom have been dealing with this river for half their lives. 
They are not at all curious about the appearance of people like Xiao Yan, because there are countless people coming here to pick up goods. However, Zhao Yan went straight to a two-dot story small building by the river. After getting off the car, he lit a firecracker and threw it towards the door. The crackling sound successfully attracted the attention of nearby people. A few people walked out from the balcony on the second floor. The leader is a bald man in his forties, wearing a pair of toad glasses and holding a toothpick in his mouth, looking quite arrogant and domineering. Before coming, Zhao Yan asked someone outside the door to inquire. The boss of this dock is called Biao Gu, also known as Ship Boss. All the vendors in the town who buy fish at the farmer's market have to purchase from him. It can be said that his words determine whether the price of freshwater fish in Linjiang town will rise or fall, and whether freshwater fish dishes can appear on the tables of the people. The power can be described as immense, by no means ordinary. Where did that fool come from? But during the Chinese New Year, it's not a holiday. Why don't you come to my doorstep and set fire? Biao Gu touched his shiny bald head and stared at Zhao Yan. At this moment, many naked laborers or ruffians wearing bell bottoms gathered around. Zhao Yan looked around and looked up at the second floor, Brother Biao, right? Let's talk about it. Ha! Upon hearing this, Brother Biao gave a cold smile and said, Who are you? Do I know you? If you want to talk to me, I have to talk. Zhao Yan shrugged his shoulders and said, Since Brother Biao doesn't talk, it's okay. The person at a loss is not me anyway. Zhao Yan turned around and took two steps, then suddenly stopped and turned around, saying, By the way, I forgot to remind you of something. Brother Biao has been quite busy lately, hasn't he? I heard that I've been cracking down on gangsters all over the place lately, but I don't know if Brother Biao can still focus on eating rich food in the future. After hearing these words, Brother Biao was taken aback for a moment. He looked at Zhao Yan with confusion. As Zhao Yan was about to get in the car and leave, he snorted coldly, Umph, you're a brave guy. Come on up. The reason why Brother Biao said such words to Zhao Yan was because Zhao Yan had just uttered a few jargon. There are not many people who can speak these slang, either they have been bandits in their ancestors or they have been passed down. And Zhao Yan had also dealt with people involved in the underworld in his previous life, so he could naturally use a few simple slang words. So he will definitely be curious about what he says when he eats Biao Gu. Of course, he was so certain because he learned from the population outside that this dock was passed down from the ancestors of Brother Biao. Being able to dominate for several generations, Biao Ji's ancestors are likely mountain bandits or river bandits. Of course, if Xiao Yan guesses wrong, he will try another way and ask the other party to invite him in. But now it seems that plan B is clearly not useful. On the second floor, Xiao Yan looked around. There are many people gathered here, many of whom are still naked with tattoos, as if showing off something. They think they are very handsome. And Biao Gu sat among these people. He looked up and down at Zhao Yan, raised his eyebrows, and said, What kind of man, surname? Zhao Yan pulled a chair on his own and sat cross-legged across from Biao Gu. Lantern Vine, Zhao. Upon hearing this, Brother Biao nodded. Although it's not my family, according to the rules, if you can face me, I will naturally give you some face. Tell me, what can I do for you? Zhao Yan said, I know Brother Biao is famous, but I'm actually here for no reason. A few days ago, I worked with a cousin of mine. He was a shopper, and I was of the four famous domestic fishes, so I asked him to purchase from me. But your brother didn't even leave me a meal and threatened my cousin. So I'll come visit the dock and see if Brother Biao can loosen his fingertips so that I can make a mess of myself. Upon hearing this, Brother Biao looked at a few people on the side. One of them immediately stepped forward and whispered a few words in Biao Ji's ear. Biao waved his hand and the other party retreated. I have a rough understanding of the situation. Indeed, these hundreds of pounds are just a small amount of money for me, 
so it's okay to give them to you. But I also want to ask you, since you are a fish pond operator, how would you know about the incense extraction on top? And do you have any ideas? In fact, Brother Biao has been really melancholic lately. His friend above gave him a message that there would be a severe crackdown soon, but the people under his command have been very chaotic. In addition, in order to occupy the market for freshwater fish, he often does make some troublesome things. If this friend's news is true, then he is indeed in danger of being pulled out of incense. It's simple, I've received news that in a few months, it will be a big event for Xiangjiang's return. At such a critical moment, our place is not far from Xiangjiang, so it will naturally attract people's attention. Some illegal monopolists or troublemakers will suffer. Brother Biao nodded. What about the method? You must have a way, right? Brother Biao, pick up Lingzi, smart. Zhao Yan smiled and said, the solution is actually very simple. If Brother Biao agrees to keep me a bite of food, why don't I give you some advice? Biao Gu stared at Zhao Yan. He has seen countless people, all kinds of people, and everything. But this time, he couldn't see through the thoughts of this young man in his twenties. This smiley expression, coupled with a slightly sinister look, reveals deep eyes. Even making Biao Gu somewhat wary. Okay, I promise you. Biao Gu said in a deep voice, regardless of whether your method is feasible or not, I can count you as a friend. Zhao Yan smiled. He knew that the other party didn't care about the profit of these hundreds of pounds of fish, and what slipped out of his fingers was a clear purchase. I suggest that in the near future, Brother Biao asks his brothers not to run around and avoid kiln accidents. Next, you find a lawyer to come back and have them draft a procurement contract. Finally, you have someone bring the contract and ask these fish dealers to sign it. If they are unwilling, you will stop their supply channels. Don't threaten them, because I estimate they won't be able to hold on for a few days and they will automatically come to you. When the time comes, please make it clear to them that if they do not purchase from you within the specified period, it will be equivalent to breaking the contract. How much compensation is required for breaking the contract, and it's up to you to make the order. In this way, all your businesses are legal and compliant. When you really need to investigate, you need to provide this evidence. They can't do anything about you. Zhao Yan's words fell, and Biao Gu widened his eyes in shock. I have been troubled by his problem for a long time, but I didn't expect the other party to solve it in just one simple sentence. The younger brothers around also began to discuss and discuss. Biao Gu raised his right hand and the surroundings quickly quieted down. Ergo, go prepare a banquet. I'm going to treat my friends to a good meal today. At this moment, Biao Gu showed an appreciative gaze towards Zhao Yan. And Zhao Yan knew very well that his purpose of this trip was half achieved. As for the other half it's probably not far either.